Welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. If you're new here, maybe you found this for a reason. We're going to focus on Gemini. <clears throat> the Gemini that is interested in an Aries. This is a general reading. Don't make it fit if it doesn't. Even if it does fit, if you entrust that deeply in tarot, please consider getting a price a personal reading from a tarot reader that you trust. And although we cannot control the wheel and things around us, we have to control ourselves and use our free will. But let's see if we can tune in and connect and peek in on the Aries that my Gemini is interested in. Tell me something about my Gemini first. What's going on with the Gemini? Show me something about their energy currently so we know where they're at. I have a six of coins on the bottom. This has to do with uh, give and take in a relationship. I love reading. I see this as a uh, give and take kind of card. An energy might feel like they are um, giving more than another or being taken advantage of. And I have a Ten of Wands and a Magician. Okay. Well, this is where Gemini is my... Uh, magician is my Gemini energy. So I'm going to say that my Gemini is being represented by the Magician. And my Gemini might feel that they are carrying a burden. Ten of Wands is carrying a burden. In my opinion, the life has ups, downs, there's burdens in life. Things sometimes within our control, sometimes not in our control. For me, the Ten of Wands is saying, like, we are not necessarily carrying the burden so great. In this image, this insect looks like it's dropping the load to me. So let's look a little deeper and see what's going on. Now let's... I'm going to say you might be resonating so far. Again, general reading, don't make it fit if it doesn't. Um, that my Gemini is in a place where they feel like maybe they were taken advantage of. High Priestess under that. To the Nine of Wands. Um, my Gemini energy might feel like they had to give too much. They weren't getting back what they were giving and that they've had to look within maybe questioning uh, their intuition, questioning can they trust their intuition, feeling like they have to, maybe even having gone through this, if you've been with the Aries that we're peeking in on for, if it was a serious relationship or is a serious relationship, you might feel like you have been through this before with them and there's juggling involved. All right, let's look deeper. I want to know about the Aries energy now, please. Let's peek in a little on that uh, Aries energy that you're interested in. Can you tell me about the Aries energy that my Gemini is interested in? What is their state of mind right now? Where are they at? That's way too much. Four of Cups on the bottom. That's... That's like not wanting the cup that we're offered. In this image, this... This energy is putting a cup over this beautiful rose, hiding it from the world. Um, I don't know if the Aries energy may have felt like the Gemini was not giving them the attention that they needed or was trying to stifle them, cover them up. We'll look deeper. The lot came out for this, so I'm going to lay them out and then we're going to peek in and see what the energy is feeling. They're being represented by the Emperor, which is Ari's energy. Um, 
the Emperor's Diaries card. And basically, well, when the Emperor is in good energy, it's a leader that we can trust. When it's not in good energy, it can be a tyrant, it can be a bully. Um, so let's look. Okay. Well, when I lay this card down, I see it's looking at my Gemini energy. So we'll start that. I mean, I have a lot here. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the Aries is feeling a lot. Okay. So, let's lay it out. I have a Three of Cups, a Four of Swords, Six of Wands, a Queen of Cups, a Knight of uh, Pentacles. Oh, no, sorry. Page of Pentacles. The Tower. Ten of Cups. The Hermit. Queen of Swords. Judgment, the Chariot, Three of Swords, Page of Wands, I might have to put these up, and this is a lot, they're feeling a lot, Gemini, the Queen of uh, Discs, Temperance, Seven of Swords, to Death, to the King of Swords, okay. I'm going to buzz in, and we're going to see what this energy is feeling. If you don't really want to know, now's the time to get out of here. Before I even buzz in, I'll just say again, I have, you might resonate so far, if my Gemini energy is feeling very burdened right now by this situation, I will say, and that what might have set this off this chain of events, all these feelings, because this is a lot of cards that came out with the Aries energy, it is what I said before about the six of uh, discs here, having to do with the give and take thing, and this four of cups, okay? I'm going to say this Aries energy felt like it was being uh, either ig ignored or feeling stifled and uh, maybe even a little suffocated by the Gemini energy covered in that in this image covering uh, oh and under that is the moon all right so this energy what set this all off like we said here could be that it felt like it was being uh, the moon is about deception illusion being in an illusion all right all right, let's look deeper. Let's buzz in and see what's going on with your Aries. Now, before I even start, the Emperor card is Aries energy. It could represent a masculine or a feminine Aries. Aries energy is very fiery, super strong energy. So, we're going to go forth and see what's going on here. All right? All right. I'm gonna buzz in. Buzz. <clears throat> okay. I'm your energy, Gemini. I'm the Aries that you're interested in. And... Like I said over there. I'm feeling like when we came together... That... There was a... There might have always been a little friction there or something. Because I feel like these are very two very strong energies. Alright? The Magician is an energy that has everything in front of it to manifest whatever it desires. And the Emperor is a super strong, fiery energy. A leader. Alright? I feel like uh, in the beginning... There might have been a little friction because you're both strong personalities, but there was respect, a mutual respect, okay? Now, mm, buzzed in, I see, when this started, we were friends. We were friends before we uh, were lovers. Six of Wands is being celebrated. Four of Swords is being in one's head. Queen of Cups, emotion. Okay, lots of emotion. In our friendship, I feel like we had a mutual respect.
for one another's beliefs, and we gave each other... There was, like, an independence to each of these energies. Okay? There was definitely mutual admiration. And I want to say both energies felt like they could, uh... They could share maybe a softer side of themselves. Like I said, these are very strong energies. Maybe both. Because of the mutual respect and the feeling of admiration, it was easier, easier for me to let down my guard and feel open with you. And we may have even bonded by sharing things from our past that maybe both energies have carried, like people carry things from the past with them. And I feel like in the beginning, it was very blissful, as most beginnings are. And the mutual respect, you know, everything we said there made it so easy to feel emotionally vulnerable with one another. All right, that I feel both energies was in that place, in the beginning. And then we come to this. Okay. <clears throat> this uh, page of discs. So, this is where we come together and we start to uh, share what we're gonna build. Now I have a tower here, and a ten of cups to a hermit. And I see these two energies, they're not facing each other. Alright, that stands out to me. Now, what I'm going to say is that one energy is more focused on the rooting. Um, not necessarily money, but the stability, okay? The tower. Some some people when I watch readings I see them say like the tower this is a, this is something unexpected uh, this is uh, you know a surprise okay. all right for me the tower card represents everything we built not being ever built on solid foundation therefore when outside forces issues like um. Intense things, like the loss of stability, money, the someone stepping out, um, any sort of big thing. Like what I would consider a big event in a relationship or a life. Uh, it's it's going to destroy it, it, whatever, whatever was built, because it wasn't built on a solid foundation. It's, it's going to collapse. It's going to be a catastrophe for that reason. Life has ups, for every up there's a down, for every in there's an out. And a lot of energies, people, I don't know, uh, maybe they, they don't see the world that way. Okay, so when things happen, they just fall apart. Alright? Ten of Cups to the Hermit. I feel like one energy was very focused on roots being planted. Maybe even... Sharing finances and things of that nature. It's a pinnacle card. It's about money. And rooting. And I want to say that the energy may be within. Either there's an instability to one of the energies that I don't know if the energy themselves has faced or fully understands. Okay? I feel like the other energy, this is Ten of Cups, was totally focused on the fulfillment of emotions. The, the bonding of the relationship, growing together. But the Hermit there, alright, this is telling me two things. This is telling me what I just said before. And also, that this energy, one of the energies might have felt so ready to jump in. All right, maybe within, like I said, there was like something they unresolved with this energy to begin with that they might not even recognize. Something from their past that they hold on to. Maybe even if um, certain issues that, that creep in and affect any relationship that they try to have. 
I don't know if this energy is fully aware of how they might create towers themselves. Uh, sometimes when people come from bad places or certain types of environments, they might create their own towers, uh, expecting things to fall apart. That could also be saying that. That one energy might always expect that everything's always going to fall apart. And I feel like the other energy... And I feel like this energy might have wanted to rush in more. Whereas this one, with the hermit being here, was either always in and out. <clears throat> hiding maybe what they really... What makes them happy. Maybe one this energy might not really fully understand what emotionally fulfills them. Maybe one energy doesn't know themselves. It doesn't feel like they have totally discovered who they are or what they want. Alright? There's a lot going on here. Alright. Buzzed in though. I'm gonna buzz. I feel like... I feel like, uh... This one energy... I'm gonna say this is how my Aries is looking at my Gemini. So, I feel like, buzzed in, bzz, that, yeah, uh, everything we said here, we come together, the friendship, the mutual admiration, etc. And I feel like, you were so ready to, uh, just jump right in, jump right in, okay? Here, you're ready to, like, share whatever you have. And now combine and let's grow together. Whereas I'm looking at the cups. What fills me emotionally. Um, maybe I'm even looking at this tower like it's my other relationships and how they've fallen apart. Maybe I'm comparing now. What what here I wasn't I wasn't doing that. Alright, this was fresh and new, and now I'm getting the cold feet. You know, little cold feet there. Feeling like I gotta look within. I need space. I need space. With that hermit card. Okay. And yeah, all of a sudden now, I'm putting my back. I'm putting my back. I'm turning my back. Alright? Now this is where things get uh, a little icky. Because now I have a Queen of Swords. Which is air energy. I have judgment, which is like a resurrection of the sorts. Uh, and literal judgment. <laughs> the chariot, cancer energy, water energy, moving. This one is not moving. And I have a three swords, which is feeling heartbroken, betrayed, and it could be a third party situation. So, alright. Buzz. So now... Also, I have my <clears throat> my hermit cards looking at this uh, the six of coins, so I'm gonna even say that this is where we came together, and as soon as we did, like more seriously came together, talked about things more serious, that that's where I got the cold. Uh, I started getting the cold toes, right? getting a little iffy about my feelings, maybe even looking at you a little different. This is where I feel like my Gemini energy started to maybe question and and say, "Hey, what, you know, what's going on?" And I'm <laughs> I've already pushed you away. All right? I pushed you away with this hermit card. I put my back to the 10 of cups. I put my back to the tower to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. I put my back to not wanting the deal. With with real life stuff. I'm pushing you away. But I'm not really acknowledging that. You might be confronting me. Like, hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? Uh, we had magic here. We were manifesting. We were starting to plant roots and grow here. And I'm feeling like uh, you're pushing me away a little bit. That you put up your armor here. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh... This might, you're being paranoid, uh, this is probably just in your head, relax, you're making a big deal about nothing, uh, but in reality, 
what you were feeling is correct. And I just don't, you know, instead of just being up front, maybe I'm lying to myself. Maybe I feel like if I know I have cold toes, maybe I've done this in the past with other situations and relationships. So instead of being upfront and honest, clean the swords, I now make you feel defensive because Queen of Swords, that is Gemini energy or air energy. It's truth. It's standing up for a truth. It's clarity. You know, well now Gemini energy is feeling like, uh, hey, can I trust my intuition? I mean, I was feeling really good about this and now I'm feeling the burden. The burden of, of everything I put into this, which is Everything that I was holding on to, you know, for to build, like to put in to a relationship with another energy that I saw with you. Now I'm feeling like, as the Gemini energy, uh, maybe I started, the Gemini started, you know, being a little sharp with their words, putting the sword up, because it's feeling defensive now, like, uh, and. And I'm making you feel like uh, you're nuts. You're nuts. What do you mean? Uh, you ne you're being defensive, and that's making me feel like I have to be defensive back. All right, yeah. But in reality... In reality... This is what I'm feeling, so I'm just going to say again, this is a general reading. Don't make it fit if it doesn't, okay? And only you know your situation. Only your Aries really knows what's going on deep in there. This soul. So, but buzzed in, right? What I feel is the Aries energy wasn't being as honest as it should have been, it, which in turn is making the Gemini energy defensive and feeling some sort of way. And, uh, there's three of swords to the chariot. So, all right. I'm feeling like, this buzzed in, I'm feeling like, I may have, uh, I may have jumped into this too soon, okay? And I'm not being honest about what I really feel, because I don't really know what I feel, I think. But, I'm getting those cold feet, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling like with this Three of Swords, this energy, the either looking at, what hurt them in the past and bringing that into this. Or they're looking at someone from their past. Okay? Like, legit. And either talking to them about their problems with you. Which I feel like they created. At this... In, that's just what I feel. By not being honest about their feelings. And just talking. Um, and the chariot. So, like, this is saying two things to me. Because in this chariot card, this, this, he's not moving, alright? He's not moving. So, it's saying to me, as the Aries energy, they're at a standstill in this. They're not going to move away from it completely, but they're not moving totally towards it either. And when I see this, I don't know if they, I don't know if they actually stepped out, or if they were thinking about it. Right, because that's, that's what I'm feeling there. Like, the, it, they may have, in their minds, this is what I'm feeling, so I'm just going to say, in my mind, the Aries, I was feeling like uh, I couldn't talk to you like we used to talk. Because this was a, a bonded friendship with mutual respect, all right? So I turned to another energy, and in my eyes, it's not a big deal. Like, like, you might think it's a big deal. I don't know if you know about it. Maybe you do, and that's the burden you're carrying. But to me, this is not a big deal. This is just my friend. This is my friend. I don't know why I said it like that. This is my friend. And uh, I just feel like they, you know, I can talk to them. They're giving me different a different perspective of things. That's how I feel like they're presenting it to my Gemini energy. But I feel like, they know it's shady. If, if, if the situation was flipped, if you did this, I wouldn't stand for it. That's how I feel. Alright. So. 
Now, with this, like I said before, right? It's like not moving forward in this. It's not moving away either. But this also next to the Three of Swords for me could be an energy that is being a little sneaky. Okay? Like moving the chariot. It's moving. <clears throat> Does this energy travel for business or something? If so... That could be when that's happening. If there's something shifty with that Three of Swords. Alright. And now here. This is like... This is like the f now. Okay? So. Bzzz. Yeah, Knight of Wands. So... This is about passion. This is like, literally for me, like a phoenix. So I have an energy that's feeling... Eh. Alright. I want to move towards... This type of energy. Alright? That's what... Let's balance here. Jeez. Now... This passion and this queen of discs to this temperance. Hmm. I'm presenting my energy like I, right now, am ready to move, make a choice with this prince of, uh, this knight of wands. Sorry, this is a page. An offering. Sitting here, holding my coin. I'm presenting my energy like, uh, my passion. Okay, okay. Gemini, you're seeing this energy right now as, like, what's going on with their passion? What are they doing with their money? They... Mm, the balance, the mutual uh, admiration and respect that was once what bonded you to this energy. It's, it's not balanced right now, obviously. It's all over the place, I'm feeling like. I'm feeling a little confused here. Because then I have my King of Swords death to the seven. Oh, sorry, they went that way. The seven of swords to the death to the king. Alright. Buzz. All the passion that I had and the roots I wanted to plant, the stability that I said I wanted... I don't think this energy really knows what it wants. Alright? Because I'm feeling so confused looking at these. And it shouldn't be that confusing. And I feel like that's this energy. The Aries energy. It's caught... Between whatever the tower is for it. It's like caught between... The passion, stability, and who to, who to share its cups with. And I don't know if that means there's another energy. Necessarily. Or if this is like a selfish thing. Because I'm almost feeling like this Aries energy... It's a little selfish. Like, it's holding on to dear life. To this. It's holding on to this coin. It's holding on to these cups. Like, for itself. I don't know if this energy... When you connected and there was all this, like, balanced, uh... Feeling like give and take, balance, mutual respect, all of that. I don't think it was being deceitful about that. I think it felt that at the time. 
but I don't think it has dealt with all, fully understands itself and why it feels the things it feels. And that's what I get from this. Like, it's it's so caught in its own mind between... Do I want to even share my passion, my life, what I've built, what I'm going to build, what I feel within, with, with anyone? I don't know if this energy is ready to share with anyone. And I feel like it might be lying to itself. This is Seven of Swords. This is my sneaky seven... This energy literally has its fingers crossed. Um, this energy might confuse itself. Like, going back and back and forth between passion and stability. And, like, its connection spiritually with its own self and its higher power. Because, buzz, buzzed in. I lie to you. I lie to you, one, because I don't want to fight. Um, I'm being a bit of a puss in that respect. Like, I feel like it wasn't like that always. And there's a side of me that maybe I wasn't fully showing, okay, from the start. Maybe I even lied to myself about that, that side of myself. Maybe I didn't. Maybe it's a side of myself that I worked hard to mature from being, and I'm maybe deep down a little embarrassed of my own self, that I thought I was more mature. Because this card, this energy in this card, this is a mature energy, but I'm not feeling like they are an older, older person, like in this card, okay? So, I feel like my Gemini may have looked at this Aries energy like a very mature, stable, fiery, fiery energy, but stable and mature. Like we said, the Aries is a... The Emperor is a card that represents a leader that we follow and we trust because we can. And I feel like my Gemini looked at this energy like that, like a leader and someone they super trusted. And now, that's the maybe the burden, right, is that... uh not just of the relationship in itself, but the burden of feeling like, wow, can I, I the Gemini, trust my intuition um, in the future? Because, like, you got under my radar, you know, my, my, uh, how'd, how'd you do that? That's how I feel like the Gemini might be feeling now. So, yeah, I'm a fucking liar. <laughs> I lied, to, I, I've been lying to you and I lied to myself. Alright? I'm feeling... I'm feeling torn up. I'm feeling torn up. I feel like this energy, whatever it was lying about, whether it's feelings, whether it's... If this energy, what I said earlier about, like, for business, if they travel, if they are doing sneaky stuff when they are traveling, uh, I feel like it's ripping them apart, even. I don't feel like this energy likes the way it feels when it's being sneaky. Like, some energies get off on being sneaky and lying. I don't feel like that's the case with this energy. I feel like this energy literally, like I said before, doesn't know what its own truth is. So, yeah. I feel like this energy's feeling kind of icky inside right now. Very confused. Like I said with these cards. Usually, I don't know why these cards are confusing me so much when I'm home. really feel like this energy is caught in itself and its emotions and is confusing itself. Can't face its own... Can't face its own feelings. I feel like. Yeah. Being, dece being deceitful with myself and you. Because I don't want to face... I don't want to face the wrath. What This energy feels like it's going to be at a war with you if it's honest. And I don't feel like that's the case for the Gemini. I think the Gemini just wants some honesty. Um... Just wants to know it's not crazy because of what it's. I feel like my Gemini has a lot of intuitive feelings, and this energy is like, No, what are you talking about? What do you mean? Uh, no, you're being crazy, you don't have to feel that way. But you're right, your intuition is right. And general reading, don't make it fit if it doesn't, but that's what I'm feeling. All right, so yeah, I am being sneaky and I'm lying to you and myself, and part of me feels ripped up, ripped apart. I feel like I know I'm gonna rip your. Rip you apart with this. 
I know I'm doing that to you now, but I don't want to face it. And this also could represent that this energy, with the chariot being there and everything, and the hermit, like the way it's like this, that, that it wants to go within. It may even want a ghost. Okay? It might be considering that, but it, I don't think it is going to do that, but I feel like it wants to run with this chariot here. Like, it wants to... I need to... It might present it like it's going to look within, but really, it's running from itself. This, this energy, okay? It can't face itself and its feelings. How can it face you? And it wants to maybe even shed its old skin with this death card being here. So Scorpio energy, these are like the dark waters within that sometimes we can't even face ourselves. And, and it's ending with this King of Swords. And yeah, like, this is telling me that right now my Gemini feels cold and defensive. And I feel like I know and I see the coldness and the defensiveness. I feel it. And deep down I know that I brought this on. All right. So what I just felt is that this energy, if, you, if you've been like trying, this energy isn't being honest about how not only it really feels inside because I don't know if it really is facing its own feelings or can comprehend why it feels what it feels. And yeah, I feel like it's having trouble talking. Okay? It's having trouble getting the words out. It's scared. Is scared to face the truth. To face you. So. This is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like my Gemini. If you found this and you're resonating. You want to know. How do I get this energy. To communicate with me. What I just heard is. Give them space. As difficult as that might be. Because the more you press them. To talk. The more they're going to close off the more they're going to go within their own head, and I don't even think they know what they're feeling in their own head, ultimately. All right? If this is like a marriage or you're living together, you might want to suggest, although this energy might be too proud and feel some sort of way about it, you might want to suggest talk therapy. Couple talk therapy? Or just therapy separately? That's the train. Um, because I feel like this energy, if, you, if you're trying to work it out, you have one of two options. You're, you're burdened right now by this connection, Gemini. And I'm going to say with this card and this. Oh, yeah, and look underneath that. The eight. And then the eight of swords underneath that. This is saying to me that my Gemini is feeling a burden, uh, totally burdened by the emotions and everything here. If you guys are living together, you're married, or something like that, then there's more at stake than just feelings, right? There's, there's, there's pentacles, and, you know, other things, right? This could be my Gemini feeling like it's being uh, ignored. And it can't, it wants to express itself, but it can't. Because the Aries energy is not, is not meeting them halfway. There are things being hidden. This whole moon card, the illusion. So this energy is hiding things from itself. Everything I said there. But it's, because it can't face shit, it wants you to feel like, like, you're, you're starting to feel like you're going crazy. That's what I feel like with the moon card, okay? Like, in an illusion, like, this energy might be making you feel like you need therapy, all right? Maybe you do need therapy, but not, like, not the way that they're presenting it, and that's how I feel. And now, I have an Eight of Cups here to the Eight of Swords. So what this is saying to me is that my, my Gemini energy, um, you probably, you... You don't want to walk away. That's what I'm feeling. Like, you're feeling like you're being shut, like, pushed down this path, kind of being forced to make a choice to walk away because this the way this energy is acting. And, but you want to hold on. They might be making you feel like, like you're going crazy, 
and you can't walk away. Maybe you physically can't walk away. Maybe this stuff happening, like if you are living together, that you can't just walk away, and that you uh, you are bound. Maybe you are bound through through circumstances out of one's control. You know, everyone's situation is different. But if you if you came here and you and you're resonating, oh man, I feel like uh, this is going to be a lot of work. If you want to work with this energy, because this soul, you communicate. As a Gemini and an air energy, you talk, you communicate. And maybe that's the burden, because they're not hearing you, and they're not even meeting you halfway on the path. Um, everyone's situation is different, but if you're resonating, all I could say, my advice and what the cards are telling me, that if you want to maintain your sanity, and drop the burden fully. Um, let the person go. And I don't mean let them go forever and be like, get out of my life and blah, blah, blah. Present it like, like maybe you need some space, Gemini. Maybe you need some space. Maybe that'll put that energy, make them look at things a little different. Okay? Because in the beginning, I do feel like you, you were both independent um, energies that were had mutual respect. That... You were friends. You were friends who gave each other space <clears throat> and respected each other's uh, respected each other's everything. There was so much. I feel like there was a lot of respect in the beginning, but you're not feeling that now. Uh, you might even been starting to lose respect for yourself and making yourself crazy th with this. And if that's the case, I'm not saying you have to this. This is what it is, this energy. Look at all these feelings. I feel like this energy is not talking to you. And if that's the case, though, look at all the shit they're feeling inside. When I asked about the where my Gemini's at, I got this Ten of Wands. They're feeling burdened. I got the Gemini card and the Ten of Wands. When I asked about them, look at all those freaking cards that came out. So I feel like they're not communicating. You can't force them to. All right? So to maintain your sanity, I feel like they, they want space. You don't. But you need it for you right now to reevaluate, okay? Because you actually is this energy, whether you, it, even if you weren't a Gemini, just being this represented by this magician card, you do have everything you need to manifest whatever you desire in front of you, all right? You are a, a go getter uh, energy that makes things happen, but you're not feeling that way right now. So, yeah. That's what I'm getting from this. You should take space from from this energy for your own sanity, okay? Um, I can't really tell you what's going to happen in the future future because you both have free will, all right? All I see right now is an energy that is has a lot going on inside but isn't communicating that to you. And everyone's situation is different and what led them to this place but this energy even what I said before about this tower card in this <clears throat> maybe that energy maybe that is not what maybe that's what this energy is projecting onto you that like you you brought the old stuff and now you're making it so that there's a wall between us I really feel like this energy is projecting reflecting and maybe even be gaslighting you right now is in a negative Emperor energy, which is a bully and gaslighting. <clears throat> so I don't know. Ultimately, listen. Anything could be worked out. No matter how good or bad it is. It just depends on the energies and do they want to work it out. Can you work it out? Of course you could work it out. If that's what you guys really want. But right now, to maintain your sanity, give this energy space. Give, give it space for them and for you and see if, um, if, if you're resonating with everything and they're not talking, they, they are feeling things inside, maybe suggest, um, if they're like all anti-therapy, there's other ways to find that, like, like, either maybe, uh, Gemini and Magician Energy, you're very good at, like, planting seeds, um, with it. Maybe you got to be a little sneaky, okay, and plant little seeds about 
how they can, maybe you say, you know what, I'm going to get therapy because, or, you know, I'm going to join a group or I'm going to start doing, you know, uh, Tai Chi and, you know, I'm, and that energy, without you even saying it, the energy will start thinking about how, you know, maybe they should uh, reflect and look within and do some stuff like that. Uh, you know, reflecting on why, who they really are inside, and that kind of thing. All right. Wow, this went way too long. Uh, if you hung until the end and you're resonating, give it a like. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I hope this was helpful in some sort of way. Um, if you want to leave a comment letting me know what your uh, rising Venus or Moon is, or if this resonated, let me know. All right, God bless, love you guys. I hope I see you in the future. Peace.